Hello, friends and family of the Heart Coherence Collaborative. My name is Ben Holtz, and it is such an honor to be here with you today and share the amazing power of breathwork. In this session, I am going to be sharing with you the most powerful breathwork technique that you can do every single day to optimize your energy in mind, body, and spirit. We're also going to do a beautiful guided meditation that's going to allow us to have that amazing heart coherence that you are here for. And firstly, I just want to say how much of an honor it is to be a part of this challenge with some of my favorite spiritual spiritual teachers, such as Bruce Lipton and Greg Braden. It's truly, truly my pleasure to be able to serve you with the medicine of the breath. And my intention is for you to really take this breathwork practice and this entire experience and carry it with you in your everyday life. So not just here are you going to be able to optimize your energy and connect with your heart, but you're also going to be able to take these practices with you into your day-to-day life so that you can optimize your energy and keep that heart coherence going every single day. A little bit about me, my name is Ben, and what I love to do and my passion is helping healers and facilitators and people feeling the call to become healers and facilitators, helping them to actualize their dreams and bring in everything they need, the tools, the instruction, the mentorship for them to live out their purpose and their dharma. So we have a very powerful training program where we teach you how to become a breathwork facilitator host really powerful retreats and coaching programs and teach you how to grow your wellness business online to create more impact and to earn a great income so that you can sustain the impact that you create through your business. We also host retreats, uh, both co-ed and men's retreats, so that we can create these really beautiful in-person containers, which are my favorite, and so that you can really drop in to the energy of these different practices and make lifelong friendships. So enough about me. Let's get to the practice that we're going to be practicing today. The first practice we're going to drop into, and the one that is fantastic for optimizing your mind, body, and spirit every single day, is called dynamic breath work. Now, dynamic breath work has four steps, four primary steps, and a benefit for each of those steps. So four primary steps and four primary benefits. Step number one is 40 controlled hyperventilated breaths. And these hyperventilated breaths, controlled hyperventilated breaths rather, look like this. In through the mouth all the way up, relax the breath out. In, belly, chest, and head, exhale. All the way in. Belly, chest, and head, relax it out. (sighs) Just like that. So we're not pushing the breath out on the exhale. We're inhaling all the way in, stretching our lungs, (sighs) and relaxing the breath out. So this practice, or this first initial step, is really, really powerful for decreasing inflammation. So the primary benefit to go with this first step is a decrease in inflammation. What this does is it alkalizes the blood, So it brings our blood um, alkalinity to a more alkaline uh, state. So instead of having an acidic acidic state within our blood, we have a more alkaline state and we bring our body into a really beautiful state of alkalinity. And this is going to naturally decrease inflammation, Uh, acidity increases inflammation more and a more alkaline space and state is going to decrease inflammation. Also, a reduction in carbon dioxide from all of those ah, exhales is going to reduce inflammation as well. So step one is 40 controlled hyperventilated breaths. And the primary benefit with this is to reduce inflammation in the body, which is one of the number one contributors to disease. So a reduction in inflammation is so important. Step two is we're going to take a big breath on our 40th breath. We're going to sigh it out. And we're going to hold the breath after we sigh it out. So we're going to hold the breath on an exhale. And this is very counterintuitive because as kids, when we're swimming in the pool, we take a big breath in and then we'll go swimming right under the water. But here we're going to exhale the breath out and hold it. And so when we're in this space, it's great to remember to stay as still and calm as possible. The more still and relaxed you are when you're holding your breath, the easier it will be to hold your breath. But eventually, you will run into what's called a hormetic stress or a positive stress. Your body will say, hey, it's time to breathe. And that's when you know you've reached a sweet spot. Because whenever your body starts to go into the state of sympathetic activation, we start to activate a fight or flight uh, response intentionally. 
all of the internal organs kick into high gear, and especially your immune system located in your GI tract and your intestines, it kicks into high gear. So my analogy for this is if we have uh, ninjas guarding our immune system, guarding the temple, and these ninjas are lethargic and just sleeping and not really activated, then we're not going to have a very... um, a well-protected immune system. So what we want to do is in this stress response, when we feel like we need to breathe, we know that the ninjas are getting activated, our body is going into overdrive, and it's kicking into gear. And this is going to be fantastic for boosting the immune system. There's been a ton of studies done on this, and this is really, really great for a boost in the immune system, which we all need. Nobody likes being sick. So step number two is a big <sighs> exhale. Hold. We're going to hold it for about a minute to a minute and a half. And once we reach the stress response, one thing that we can do is we can move our hands over our legs or we can move our body side to side or up and down to last a little bit longer in that stress response. When we get to the stress response, we want to go about 10, 15 seconds farther and then we go into step three. And step three is taking a big deep breath in through the nose. Filling up all the way, you will be ready to take that breath in, I promise you, and holding the breath on the inhale. So when we take this big breath in through the nose, we want to make sure it's a powerful, explosive breath, and our tongue is to the roof of our mouth, like this. And we take a big breath in, and we fill up all the way. And so we're actually stretching our lungs here. So we stretch our body, but we never stretch our lungs. So we really want to stretch those lungs and get down deep into the little bronchioles and open them up because guess what? The lungs are where the life force energy comes in and comes out, right? The first thing we do when we're born is we breathe. The last thing we do when we die is we exhale, right? So we want to really keep this in mind. And the lungs are so important. So we want to stretch them on this big, deep inhale, We hold the breath, and then after a few more seconds, we're going to sip the breath in through the mouth, (laughs) filling up all the way, right? We really want to pull the shoulders back and stretch our lungs and open up so that our lungs are nice and open, and this actually contributes to longevity. So there's been a few different studies on this, and whenever scientists are looking at the number one contributors or the primary contributors to longevity, they notice that lung capacity was a very, very powerful and primary contributor to longevity. So it makes sense. Life force energy comes in and out. We want to create expansion there. So step number three is a big inhale through the nose, tongue to the roof of the mouth. Hold the breath. Sip a little more breath in. Hold the breath. And this is stretching our lungs, and this is going to increase longevity. Step number four, and our final step here, is a long ohm after we hold the breath. So we're holding the breath, and then after about a minute, we're ohming the breath out. And this ohm is a beautiful, beautiful practice and beautiful step because it actually stimulates our vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve is a nerve that runs all the way up from the pelvic floor all the way up into through the spine up into the brain and so the vagus nerve is actually a really really powerful um, it accesses our autonomic nervous system let's say it like that so whenever the vagus nerve is stimulated through oh the vocal toning of the arm we actually activate the parasympathetic nervous system so remember we created a hormetic stress in step two on our exhale hold So what that's going to do is going to activate the sympathetic nervous system or the fight or flight response. And then here on the last step, we're ohming the breath out. And when we do this, we activate the parasympathetic, which is the rest and digest state of being. And we really want to do this so that we regulate our nervous system after each and every round because we're activating ourselves and then we're relaxing ourselves at the end. So to recap, step one, 40 controlled hyperventilated breaths, breath in, sigh it out, (sighs) just like that. And the first benefit to this is a reduction in inflammation in the entire body. Step two, big breath in on our 40th breath, (sighs) sigh it out, (sighs) hold the breath and be as still as possible. Eventually we'll reach a stress response and this is great we want to hold the breath past the stress response and this is going to boost our immune system 
Step three, take a deep breath in through the nose, tongue to the roof of the mouth. Filling up all the way, holding it, stretching the lungs, sipping more breath in. And this is stretching and expanding the lungs. And when we do this, we increase longevity. And step number four is alming the breath out. Om. And when we do this, we regulate the nervous system, coming back into rest and relaxation, our homeostasis. So guys, the video we are about to watch is going to guide you through every single one of these steps. You are going to be guided fully and completely, but I wanted to make sure that you're fully informed and aware of this practice and what to expect. For many, this is going to be a very, very powerful practice. It's going to be something that you find really invigorating or potentially very relaxing. Every person's different, but I invite you to just go in head first and really dive into this practice while also honoring your body and what your body really needs. So, if you feel like you need to breathe slower or hold your breath for less time or breathe less intensely, please honor your body and listen to your body and do so accordingly, okay? So first things first, let's go ahead and get lying down. Go ahead and lie down on a mat or on your bed or somewhere where you can do this practice. There is a potentiality of fainting if you have a history of fainting. Uh, it's very unlikely, but just in case, we're going to go all, go ahead and all lie down together. And once we get lying down, uh, go ahead and get a water bottle where you can access water really easily. And if you'd like, go ahead and get an eye mask as well. And this eye mask is going to support you in just going deeper into the practice. Now, while you're getting all of these things ready, <laughs> I want to let you know that after this practice, we're going to do a beautiful guided meditation. It's called Cleansing Breath. And I'm going to guide you in this meditation with some beautiful music. And as you go from dynamic breath work into this meditation, it's really going to complete your experience here because the dynamic breath work is very activating and optimizing. And then the cleansing breath afterward is going to be very relaxing, very regulating. Okay. So I'm so excited to share this practice with you. It's a practice that I do every morning. It's a practice I've shared with thousands all over the world in person and online, and I know that you are going to love it. With that being said, let's go ahead and get ready to dive into dynamic breath work. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Ben, and I will see you on the other side of this video to guide you through cleansing breath. Much love, namaste, and have a great journey. With that being said, let's take a nice deep breath in through the nose, filling up all the way. Ah, opening the mouth and sighing it out. Ah, deep breath in. Hold it at the top. Open in the mouth and sigh it out. Ah, and we're ready to begin in five, four, three, two.
going to take a deep breath in in five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath. Fully inhaled. Lungs fully expanded. Hold the breath. And take a little more air in. Drop the shoulders back, soften the belly, drop the throat, find stillness here, holding the breath, we'll release the breath in five, Great job, everybody. That was round one. We'll begin round two in five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Push past your limitations. Push past your discomfort. You can do more than you think you can. Push past your discomfort. Going to take a deep breath in in five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath. Fully inhaled. Lungs fully expanded. Hold the breath. And take a little more air in. back, soften the belly, drop the throat, find stillness here, holding the breath, we'll release the breath and find
five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <sighs> Great job, everyone. That was round two. Two more to go. We'll begin the third round in five, four, three, two, one. Begin. your limitations, push past your discomfort. Let it go and hold the breath, complete stillness. past your discomfort. Keep going, you're almost there. I'm going to take a deep breath in and five. fully expanded. Hold the breath. And take a little more air in. Hold the breath. Drop the shoulders back. Soften the belly. Find stillness here. Holding the Great job, everyone. That was round three. One more to go. We'll begin our fourth and final round in five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Thank you.
we've got full inhale, exhale, full inhale, exhale, filling all the way up and letting go. Almost there. Keep going. Three, two, one. Big breath in and let it go. Keep going, you're almost there. Breath in and five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath. Lungs fully expanded. Hold the breath. And take a little more air in. Hold the breath. the shoulders back, soften the belly. Find stillness here, holding the breath. We'll release the breath in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and relax into your body. Taking deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. I invite you to simply be here now. I invite you to rest, relaxing into the earth underneath you knowing that you are safe, you are loved, and you are nurtured by great spirit, by the universe, and by the earth around you, and by your tribe. 
Go ahead and ease into a gentle surrender. Relax into an infinite cloud of peace. With each breath, you becoming more relaxed. With each breath, you're becoming more connected to your true being. With each breath, you find a deeper connection to the breath itself. And I invite you now to notice a beautiful golden cloud around you. This golden cloud is pure healing and cleansing energy. And allow yourself as you inhale with the breath to inhale this beautiful cleansing golden light. Feel it cleansing every cell in your body. And as you exhale, you exhale the light back into the space, back into the cloud. And as you inhale, you fill up with this beautiful healing energy. Noticing as you inhale the beautiful golden light, every cell in your body relaxes. Every cell in your body is cleansed. Every cell in your body sighs with relief. And you feel a deep sense of peace, a deep sense of pleasure and gratitude and love. As you inhale, you fill up all the way with this beautiful light. And as you exhale, you release any negative tension, any dense energy into this beautiful glowing cloud of golden healing light. All the way from the tips of your toes into your ankles and legs, you feel the cells in every single part of your body relax and cleanse. Breathing deeper into the hips, the belly, the lower back, the chest and the upper back, you feel this light healing and cleansing every part of your body. And breathing deeper into the shoulders, the neck, the throat, the upper arms, the forearms, the hands and the fingertips, you feel the light cleansing your body. All the way up now into the face, the head and the crown. Breathing into this space, you feel the light cleansing every single cell in your body. Continuing to breathe now. And letting the light completely caress your body around you. Making you feel held. Making you feel relaxed and at ease. Allowing you to feel completely and totally peaceful. And just take a moment to relax into this peace, to relax into this easefulness, to relax into this grace of golden healing light. There's nowhere to be 
but right here, right now. Resting and relaxing into this golden healing light. safe and you are free. When you're ready, I invite you gently to roll to one side and just take a moment to relax on your left or right side in the fetal position. And when you arrive here, give yourself a big hug and let yourself know that you love yourself, saying, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I care for you. I love you body, I love you mind, I love you heart, I love you spirit. Filling yourself with this love that you deserve. Saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, I care for you. Taking a deep breath in and sighing it out. <sighs> Another deep breath in and sigh it out. <sighs> And when you're ready, gently push yourself into a seated position, keeping the eyes closed, slowly moving into a seated position, and relaxing into the seated spot, relaxing into your root, and bring your hands together in prayer. And just take a moment to connect with the energy of gratitude. Whatever it is you're most thankful for in this life, send the energy of gratitude to that thing, that person, that pet, whatever it may be. With your breath, just saying thank you. I love you. Thank you, I love you. And slowly begin to rub your hands together, creating heat and energy in the hands. And then place your hands over your eyes, taking a deep breath in and sighing it out. <sighs> and slowly removing the hands as you blink your eyes open. Welcome back to the world, my friend, and placing your hands anywhere on the body that needs love and attention. It can be anywhere. Welcome back. So good to see you. <laughs> Welcome back. <sighs> Just relaxing into the breath, noticing how you feel. Noticing any new sensations, any new feelings in the body. Noticing if you feel optimized, if you feel engaged, if you feel connected. And just know that this is something that you can do every day, every morning to feel this way, every evening to feel this way. You are the healer that you've been looking for, my friend. And this breath this meditation, amongst many others, it is the medicine and it is right here with you, ready to be accessed at any time. So thank you, thank you for 
unlocking the healer within with me here to support you in that it's such a blessing it's such an honor <clears throat> and i'm so grateful that i'm here with you today to be able to share this medicine of the breath to be able to share this medicine of the golden light of the gratitude of the cleansing breath of the dynamic breath it's all medicine and i'm so excited to also share that if you are feeling the call to become a healer to become a facilitator or if you're already a facilitator who wants to truly go to the next level in creating more impact and earning enough money to sustain yourself, to reinvest in your business that creates impact, to travel the world, to live a lifestyle that you really want to live. If you're interested in really actualizing your dreams as a powerful healer, facilitator, hosting retreats around the world, doing powerful coaching programs that allow for people to experience sustainable transformation, then I invite you to reach out to us. Go to awakenedbreath.org forward slash H-I-H to learn more about how we can support you in becoming a trauma-informed breathwork facilitator and a wellness entrepreneur so that you can live out this dream of becoming the healer and facilitator that the world needs you to become. There's never been a more powerful and important time for you to actualize your gifts and to go to that next level and to share your gifts of healing, of wellness with the world. The world needs you. It needs your gifts. And so we would be honored and blessed to help you to actualize these gifts <clears throat> and to share them with the world. And we would just love to have a conversation with you to get to know you better, to see how we can serve you. At the very least, we'll do some breath work together and we'll leave the call as allies and friends on the same path. But if you're deeply called and you're a great fit to work with us and for us to work together, my commitment to you is I will help you get to the point where you feel this deep sense of success in your offerings. I will help you to achieve a clear path knowing exactly what to do and where to go in order to become successful as a facilitator and healer. That is my commitment to you. So again, awakenedbreath.org forward slash H-I-H. Thank you guys so much. Such a blessing to be here with you. And I'm honored, honored, honored to share this medicine with you today. I look forward to connecting with you on a call and I cannot wait to connect. Much love, and until next time, my name is Ben Holt. Enjoy the rest of the challenge. Namaste, aho, and thank you again. Blessings. <laughs>